For drivers stranded out here, Barnsley's their only hope. Most people are pretty happy to see you. Three men are stranded in the desert, and only Barnsley has the gear and the know-how to find them. He's been told they've been there two days. Barnsley's getting worried. He should have found them by now. Not like going too fast at this thing, so it should be able to uh, He doesn't know how much food and water the tourists have left. And out here, dehydration is a real threat. Barnsley's specialty, search and rescue missions deep into the Simpson. First thing they think is, oh, hell, how am I going to get out of here? But at least help is around. His secret weapon, the man. An ex-German army truck that's been modified to go where others can't. Got a heart of gold, though, this truck. What it's got is a heavy-duty 13-litre V8, 265 horsepower engine. And it's about to be put to its ultimate test. Like uh, 170 k's from here. Three men are stranded in the desert, and only Barnsley has the gear and the know-how to find them. Got a broken axle, I reckon, in a land run. He's been told they've been there two days. He needs to rescue them before they run out of supplies. From Birdsville, he'll head west 170 kilometres deep into the desert to where he thinks the stranded travellers are. It'd be good to average a bit more than 20 k's an hour, but if that's all it does, we'll... But as he gets ready to leave, now a howling wind is blowing across the desert, shifting sand dunes and hiding tracks. Yeah, I've got to make the car stay on there. It's rough, it's slow. Barnsley's job has just got a whole lot harder. Very. It's 4 a.m. in Birdsville, Queensland. Barnsley has a serious day ahead of him. Oh, well, we're heading off. Uh, Five hours earlier than I'd like to be awake. He's got to climb a gigantic 40 metre sand dune. So notorious, it's got its own name. Yeah, well, we're just in big red now, so this is the start of the sand hills. Um, and if I can leave my tyres up, I do. But it might not go up here, you know. Strong winds have pushed the sand around, making the dune softer and boggier. That lip on the top of those sand is blowing up from that half dust storm yesterday. He's cleared the first part of Big Red. But a steeper hump is still to come. The truck's tyres are losing grip. That's the end of us. Round one to Big Red. Soft down the top, that's from the wind. Line up the SD. He'll have to let his tyres down and hope that'll give him the extra traction to get over Big Red. But with low air pressure, his tyres are at greater risk of puncture. It gives a bigger footprint, you know, to sand. If Barnsley can't clear this dune, three men will be at the mercy of the desert. We'll give this a go. Less air in his tyres makes them flatter giving better traction. This time, he makes it. That's all right, but that's no fun. But there's plenty more to come. They can't run up a sand quickly. It just climbs every hill. After lost time on Big Red, Barnsley wants to push hard. you got to realise it's rough, pretty rough out here. His biggest weakness are his tyres, especially after he's let them down. These tyres worry me. If there's any tree roots sticking in, cut the side all that's head, it's all over. If Barnsley gets more than two flat tyres, he's finished. I only got one spare on the thing. Sometimes we wish he had ten. But each tyre is worth $1,600, a crippling running cost. Go along the salt ledge of the salt lake now for a while. Oh, 
way back into these sand hills. 160 case of birds will now. It's fairly remote. You can't come out here real prepared, otherwise you might get stuck in the desert. No? For drivers stranded out here, Barnsley's their only hope. Most people are pretty happy to see you. Looking for this bloke. We're looking for this bloke now, around about where he should be. And what I usually do when I start getting close, I start looking up these gullies in case they've just driven up there to camp, you know? Barnsley's getting worried. He should have found them by now. Not like we're going too fast in this thing, so it should be able to uh, see. He doesn't know how much food and water the tourists have left. And out here, dehydration is a real threat. Suddenly, he spots a lone figure. I was waiting down there on top of the hill, so I suppose that's where the car is. Finally, the cavalry's arrived. Morning. Good day to you guys, sir. Yeah, how are you getting on out of here? Yeah, we're doing all right. We parked up and made the call and waited it out. So this is day three. John, Barnsley. John. I, uh, my brother Bill. Yeah, I met Bill. Oh, right, actually, up the road there. Bill was 10 k's down. Yeah, yeah. yeah, thanks for coming. No worries. We were quite relieved to see, uh, see that big truck come over the hill, that's for sure. The crippled vehicle can drive, but its four-wheel drive capability's gone. We've got movement, but not for this kind of country. It's like coming out here in your push bike. The Land Rover weighs three tonnes. Barnsey will have to piggyback it over the same dunes he barely cleared while empty. Handbrake work. To make it back, Barnsey will have to adjust his air pressure. This time, he pumps his tyres up to handle the extra weight. What about 50 right now? But now he runs a much bigger risk of getting bogged. This June isn't even a big one. Well, well, right, get but the extra weight is pushing Barnsley's truck to its limits. It's off. 13 litres of V8 power might not be enough for this heavy hitchhiker. Get one more go. If he can't make it over this dune, he may need to leave the $50,000 Land Rover behind. Off the, uh, the gas cylinder and it's hanging over the side here, so we're going to put it in the back seat, it'll be a lot safer there. Well, nothing else that can come off, Barty? No, it's right now. That's how a land rover falls off. <laughs> 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 I can keep driving if it does. Oh, 
the salt lakes give a short break from the battering of the sand dunes. But on the other side, a patch of scrub full of tyre-piercing sticks. Scary through here, all the scrub. Barnsley's tyres make it through. What do you reckon? Does that put that dent in that door in it? But the trees still get him. between Barnsley and Birdsville, the mother of all dunes. I think we'll be going over Big Red on the sunset. Barnsley's now only 40 kilometres from home, but the desert still has him in its grip. No easy way out of this desert. Big Red. At 40 metres high, Big Red is the Simpsons' biggest sand dune. The sunset from its peak is spectacular, drawing dozens of tourists. Tonight, they're in for an even bigger show. Barnsley's taking it on, fully loaded. Big red fellas, finally made it. Mission accomplished. After a 17-hour slog, Barnsey, his truck and three relieved travellers have made it out of the Simpson alive.